My name is Scott Compo and joining me we have Emma. Emma, can you please tell me a little bit about what we have here? This is our mining mechanical design project and we had to redesign a piece of equipment used in a mine. So what we've done is we've aimed to do a continuous miner and it's going to improve productivity, make sure reliability is in mind and make sure safety is also included. So in an underground mine you have a drift and at the end of the drift you have a draw point and at this draw point you're going to have all the broken rock. So what normally happens is a load haul dump machine will go up and then it will underhand scoop it and then that will drive it to the set location. The continuous miner is going to be stationary at the draw point. It is also going to be an overhand scoop and then this overhand scoop will drive the ore up on the conveyor and then we'll have trucks that will move back and forwards from the draw point to the location where the ore is to be. On this prototype assembly, we have a main conveyor right down the center of it, which is used to move the rock from the uh, draw point to the truck that will be trimming it back. And how that happens is that the arm and the bucket that will be attached to this prototype is going to swing and pull rock up the blade on the front along the conveyor belt and it'll dump off into our truck. This whole thing is mobile by these two tracks that are on either side. There are drive motors on the two rear rollers of these tracks. The front is just on an axle, it doesn't have any driving power, but the motors on the two drive uh, wheels will be able to power it around in order for it to move between different drop points. Lucas, can you please tell me about some of the difficulties or challenges you guys experienced? Uh, so our first challenge was sizing the drive motors. Obviously it's a pretty big prototype, and so we needed to do some calculations based on the weight of this thing to decide what motors we needed. Our next challenge was getting the right actuators for the arm of this machine. So we needed to pick actuators that had the right extension to reach out into the pile and also were strong enough to pull the material in onto the conveyor. So the third challenge was getting control of this vehicle. So the heart of our control system is an Arduino microcontroller inside and that sends signals to subsequent motor controllers which control the drive motors and the actuators. On our Arduino we have an external shield which gives us Bluetooth access to the vehicle. So we can, from a handheld device, we can control uh, the vehicle and teleoperate it. And then also on the vehicle we'll have a camera that gives us live camera feed. So in theory you would have an operator perhaps in a control room up on the surface who can just operate this machine without having to be underground in the mine. So it looks quite different from when we first saw it a couple of weeks ago in the early design phases. Can you sort of walk me through the final stages? So one of the biggest challenges we had was integration of all the pieces. Because obviously on a computer everything looks like it's going to work perfectly, but when you implement it in real life it doesn't. So we had a lot of parts that it didn't mesh as well as we wanted it to. So we had to do a lot of uh, secondary cutting and changing a lot of pieces. And then we ran into issues that we never thought we would have. So material getting in under the conveyor, things like that. So even up until just yesterday we were continually trying to fix things and iterate on the design. Um, and then we, we finished off with this, which we're pretty proud of, and you know, it, it works to our expectations. Is it uh, fully functioning now, and can we be able to see it work? Absolutely not. No, yeah, no, it's, it's ready to go. It's uh, fully charged. We have everything, all of our operations ready. All right, well, no time like the presence. Let's make this thing work. <laughs> Look at that efficiency, guys. <laughs> Why is the block of the lessons in the better house?